Hi guys! Are you looking to enhance your civilian capability or extend your Wi-Fi coverage to remote area on your property? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily extend your LAN to remote locations using a robust outdoor point-to-point -point fiber optic link, allowing you to connect remote PoE cameras and wireless access point with ease. And for more information on this topic or others like this, you can check out our channel, Fast Cabling. And feel free to leave comments and let us know what you'd like to see more of. Extending a local area network using the point-to-point -point fiber optic link involves connecting two separate network locations using the fiber optic cable. Firstly, the fiber optic cable have much higher bandwidth capacity compared to the traditional copper cable, and allowing for faster than the transmission over a longer distances. Additionally, fiber optic link can span longer distance without degradation in signal quality, and makes them suitable for connecting remote offices, campuses, or buildings. So now let's move on to the next scene where we have the whole setup. Today we are going to connect to a PVZ camera and a wireless SS point at the edge using the 300 meters fiber optic cable in between. Now to establish the connection, a network switch with SFP and media converter equipped with fiber optic interface are needed at each of the link. That's why we have the outdoor media converter on this side and the outdoor PoE switch with SFP at the edge. Now those devices can convert electrical signal from the LAN into optical signal that can travel over the fiber optic cable. And those optical signal are then transmitted across the fiber optic link to the receiving end where they are converted back into the electrical signal so they can compatible with the devices at both ends. Now let's talk about the fiber optic cable. Now, when choosing a fiber optic cable, an important consideration is whether to choose a single mode or multi mode cables, as each has distinct characteristics suitable for different applications. Now, single mode is designed to carry a single ray of light, allowing for long distance transmission with minimal signal loss. On the other hand, multi mode allows multiple light rays to propagate simultaneously and is typically used for shorter distance such as within a building or a data center and also it can support higher data rates so now you know their characteristic so you should choose the one that is suitable for your situation and without saying let's do the connection together let's use a sharp edge card to connect our router to the NVR and using another Ethernet cable to connect our router to the outdoor media converter. Now this is the power supply unit for the media converter. Let's plug it in. And we can see the indicated light is on. Now we need this SFP transceiver, but it's usually so separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and the connector that you use. Today we are using a single mode four string fiber optic cable. And since it's pre-made, so we don't need to worry about the connector. And it's 100% tested in the factory. Let's use string A and plug it into the SFP transceiver. And plug it into our SFP slot. Now the media converter will convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal and travel across to the edge. Now at the edge, we have the PoE switch with SFP. You can place this device at outdoor environment without concern of water damage and to provide fast network and sufficient power for multiple devices. Now it is IP67 waterproof, so the working temperature range is from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. So now let's take a closer look. We have one RJ45 Ethernet port and four PoE port. Now this is the gigabit SFP slot to provide up to 10 kilometers from point A to point B. Now let's connect it with string A 
and plug it into the SFP transceiver. Let's plug it in here. Now I'm going to connect with two devices. So I'm going to plug into Ethernet cable to the PoE port. So now you can provide both power and data to our edge devices. Let me plug it into the PDZ camera and the wireless SS point. And we can see the indicated lights is on. Now it's getting the power and the data at the same time. The image is already on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So now our outdoor setup is all done. So when you pull a fiber optic cable, make sure you use a conduit because fiber optic cable is made out of glass, so it's fragile. So make sure you have proper cabling. Now, second is the number of the port. This is a four port PoE switch. We also have the eight port available, so you can add more IP devices. And we also have unmanaged and managed switch. Managed switch offer an advanced feature like VLAN, DHCP, ERPS, and etc. Now, please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, to find more video about the outdoor managed PoE switch with the SFP. Now, thank you very much for watching.